Hey everybody, welcome in. If this is your first video with me, welcome back if it is not. Either way, really excited that you're here and really grateful you've decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. So today I have some brand new Disney princess makeup to talk about. So if you are excited to see what we got, excited to rip in, let's just get started, shall we? I'm Rachel and this is Attainable Disney. You guys know how much I have been loving the Disney princess makeup from I Heart Revolution and they came out with two new princesses so you know I had to go scoop them so quick. So the first one we got is the new Tangled our new Rapunzel palette. Let's open her up. Um, so guys, I won't repeat the whole shtick because I've done a few of these videos before. So um, I'll link those above um, if you want to know more about this line and more about the brand. But of course, we've got our beautiful Rapunzel. I love the gold detailing, right? They still look like storybooks. And on the inside, never stop dreaming and then here's all the colors so let's go over some of these shade names so this like we've got this purple here that's like her dress that's called crown um this other this pink shade that matches her dress is called enchanted the green, of course, Pascal. All of these, I love all the dark colors that are like Mother Gothel, right? Those shades, Escape, Immortal, Hidden Tower. This this one's just called Mother Gothel. Uh, this yellow one called Paper Lanterns. Flynn Rider. Maximus. I love that, right? So then over here, the face colors, we've got sun drop flower, spot on. I see the light. Look at that, I live your dream. Look at that blush color, oh my gosh. Woo, beautiful, beautiful colors. Then the next palette is Moana. Gold detailing, storybook style. Let's open her up. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Born to Voyage. So let's just peek at these like face colors first, right? And here's something that I think is really important about these palettes and something I really love is that they are designed almost for the princess. So, right, like these colors are face, right, blush, bronzer shades that someone with Moana skin tone would wear, right? And I, I just love that, right, that they design these palettes with, with people of color in mind, right? So this is a palette sort of specifically designed for people with darker skin tones, people with right, people like a, a Pacific Island heritage or people with darker skin tones in general, right? You know, it's a problem with a lot of makeup brands that they do not cater to darker skin tones, right? Um, they cater to sort of the middle of the road, but not really the darker ones. And so this is, I just think this is so important and noteworthy that they do that. So I, I just, I really appreciate it. Even if it means, right, I can't necessarily use those colors. That's not the point. Again, I don't buy these to use them. I buy them because they're beautiful. So let's talk about these. And again, these colors are a spot on, right? Look at their, these beautiful like earth tone colors. Look, hey, hey, Pua, Lava, 
Bold Adventurer. Ooh. Magical Hook. Tamatoa. Coconut. This is the coconut as a green one. That's interesting. Maui, right? I mean, these... I love these darker, warmer, sort of earth tone colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When you look at Moana, that's what you see, right? Reds, browns, and then a little touch of blue. Here's, here is something though. Do you see this one says Disney princess? Every other one says the name of the movie. Uh, even like the Jasmine palette says Aladdin, which is why was weird. I don't know why I could just say Jasmine. And the Tangled one to Tangled, not Rapunzel, I, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know why the Moana one says Princess and not Moana. What do I know? Here's the single like box Lush from the Moana line, which I just thought was so beautiful. Love that imprint and I just love that shade I think I can wear that right I think I can wear that so beautiful and then I also picked up two more pieces from the Mulan line while I was shopping so this is the Mulan box powder but this one is a setting powder so this is just pure white and it's just a setting powder so um you can see a little Mushu on there but um yeah, so this is just translucent setting powder. At the time when I was purchasing, they had a free gift. Um, if you bought, I don't know if it was a certain, I don't remember if it was like spending a certain dollar or a certain number of items, but I got a free Mulan lip gloss, which is a nice, beautiful, wearable, peachy shade and has Cricky on it. Do you see? A little creaky. I think these powders are like eight dollars. The palettes I think are twenty. I mean, it's very cheap, very inex very inexpensive, but also very high quality. So, um, I've said before, I don't necessarily buy these like to use them. I buy them to like display them because I just think they're beautiful and I like having the little like touch of Disney on my vanity. Um, I'll try to throw a, a, a picture or I'll try to throw a picture up here for you of my vanity and kind of how I display them. So for $20, I'm okay with buying them and not using them. If you were buying them to use them, you won't be disappointed either, right? Like I think either way is fine. And I love that the, the colors and the theming continue to be spot on. They're not taking any shortcuts. Um, and I appreciate that they're inclusive, right? So they're, right, they're making sure that, that, that all people can enjoy this line, right? A variety of skin tones can enjoy this line and that, you know, people who see themselves in Moana can use the Moana makeup, like, which I just, I don't know, I just love that, right? And I think we saw the same thing. I remember the Snow White palette is very, was very much towards, like, fair skin so you know I just I love that it's inclusive and it shows intention to detail that I appreciate so inexpensive well done quality inclusive makeup I have no complaints not a complaint to be found um, if you guys are interested in shopping any of these princess makeup palettes I will leave a link below of course um, I do also have a discount code if you are interested um, which I will leave on the screen for you, okay? Um, but yes, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have bought any of these, which ones you have, which ones you love. Yeah, let's just let me know what you guys are thinking because I obviously love them because I continue to go back and buy more. So I just want to know kind of where you guys are at and what you're thinking. So let me know, okay? And I will see you guys in the next one.